Today's Swift Zwift tip is all about Apple TV and the picture-in-picture -picture functionality. Not a new feature on Apple TV and running Zwift, but something that has been pointed out by user IYK. I've got no idea how to pronounce that, but definitely head over to Reddit on the links below and give that user a thumbs up, a ride on, or whatever you need to do, because it's perfect timing to remind people that this can be done. Now, any Apple TV worth running Zwift on supports picture-in-picture -picture functionality. What's it all about? How does it all work? Let's dig into it very, very quickly over in the Llama Lab right now. Okay, quick run through on how this all works. Let's go into the Apple TV native player app here, which does support picture in picture. We'll continue playing one of the surfing videos I was watching the other day. And the little icon for picture in picture is right there. So we click on that which puts that video up into a little uh, post box or a postage stamp, I guess you'd call it. And that gives you access to the rest of your system as per normal. And from here, we can go over and load something like Zwift. Now Zwift from here will take over the audio from the picture in picture window. We'll deal with that in just a moment. Go into Zwift here. Let's go just watch for now, so I don't have to jump on the bike again today. As you can see, the video is still playing up there in the corner. All right, and Zwift still has that audio. All right, there we go. So Zwift will kick in. There we go, we have Zwift audio playing. Now to get back to the picture in picture window, it's a little uh, button on the top corner there. And then once that becomes in focus, Zwift goes a little dimmer and the audio comes from the picture-in-picture picture window. A few options we have here, we can move that window around. One, two, three, four different options. We can make that full screen again if we want, or we can close the window. Now, one gotcha with this, if you are using Zwift and watching something in the background or in the picture-in-picture uh, picture window, I guess more accurately you'd call it, the three icons that you see there remain on screen. They do not disappear. So if you want the audio from your picture in picture, and you just want Zwift for the visuals, you're always gonna have those three icons on screen. I was hoping they would disappear after three or four uh, seconds or so, or after a swipe up or a swipe down, but that's not the case. So just in summary there, when moving from window to window, it will dim the window from Zwift over to here, and it will switch the audio from one to the other as well and options to move that around. So that's it in a nutshell. Let's close this one up and I'll show you something else. Now another tip is that if you don't have a native app on the Apple TV to do picture in picture, you can use AirPlay from an iPhone or iDevice to then AirPlay whatever you have. It'll use the native player on the Apple TV and you can picture in picture that. Let's give it a quick go here with the SBS app playing the World Cup. You wanna AirPlay that over to here which will then take up full screen, but you do see the picture in picture window we can use. We jump back to Zwift and there we have it. We have the football in the top corner and we have Zwift on the main screen. That will work with any or most apps from here. GCN Plus, YouTube, whatever will uh, send video to an Apple TV. You can picture in picture it. Same deal with switching windows for audio. So using the little TV screen there, that will then put up the audio from the football It'll dim the Zwift window, but you will have those three little icons on screen. And again, same as before, you can move that around as you please, but I'm sure that will make a lot of football fans happy that they can Zwift and watch the football on the same screen using Apple TV. So there we have it, a quick overview of the picture-in-picture -picture functionality on Apple TV and how you can get the most out of it whilst riding Zwift. Again, epic kudos and thanks to user I, y, I still can't pronounce that username. Anyhow, links below to that post. Head over there, give that user a thumbs up. Hit like on this video as well, it does help out. And hit subscribe to be alerted of new videos here on the GP Llama channel. Happy riding and we'll see you soon.